contest has been matched at 64 kilograms and will take place under C-class rules over five one and a half minute rounds. Now both of our fighters are in the ring. Can we please give them a massive welcome? First fighting out of the red corner, representing Dragon's Gym, Thomas McGee. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Fortitudo, Reese Hewitt. Well, I'm fortunate to end into the last fight, but let's put this one to bed and then get straight on with these two guys fighting under C class Muay Thai rules. There's Thomas McGeehan from the Dragon's Gym and Reese Hewitt from the Full Tito. to shreds is Reese Hewitt here. I'll tell you what, does not have an ounce of fat on him. No, he looks in fantastic condition. He looks like he's just weighed in. Really sharp as well. Yep. Using that range, controlling the distance on the back foot. Lovely check. Oh, good kick to the body there. Oh, tried to duck under it as well. Remember John Wayne Parr doing that in the contender final, that's under Yodson Tyler's kick. Oh, and he's just done it again. Yeah, he's done it again. He's, he's been watching the contender. Oh, big kick to the leg then. He hits hard, doesn't he, this kid? Yeah, he does. You can, you can see the lovely dump. The way he catch that and kick the leg up, really good dump. Tracks forward, just avoids the head kick, tries to return it, goes very low. He's uncomfortable with that. He can't knee to the head in C-class Muay Thai. I wonder how the judges would see it if you're that low and you throw the knee, Alex. It might be, it's accidental, isn't if it? If it's accidental, it's not your fault. If you're ducking out to clinch or you're going to duck that low, then it's your own fault. His corner will surely tell him to lift his head up a little bit in those situations. But at the moment, it's a really well-balanced fight. Yeah. Credit to the lads promoting again. Really well matched. They touch gloves at the end of that round, go back to their corners and confidence will be there from blue corner. A little bit erratic in the Dragon's corner for me. Just needs to calm down, place his feet and let his shots go. But once again, welcome to everyone who has logged on via the pay-per-view. Joining us in the office. What's a spectacular Muay Thai show so far. And a Mr. Wayne Fisher in the corner there. With the Dragons as well. Round two, it's a sharp start from both fighters again. Oh, just constantly firing for that boy. I'm not comfortable with how he avoids those kicks. <laughs> I'm not, but it seems to be working for them. <laughs> it does. Well, you, got what, you, got, you got kicked up the backside for his troubles yeah. there, trying to do it. He just turns his back on him a lot, doesn't he? Uh, and again, made him miss, made him pay. Gets him where he wants him. He needs an extra step, doesn't he, Alex? Yeah, he does. He's got to fake a little bit more coming in, throw a few feints and then try and close that distance because there's a big height difference. Again, we've seen a few fights like this, but they've turned out to be really well matched. The height difference hasn't really mattered. It's still been a great fight. Really has, yeah. Yeah, it's set that up well for the push kick. Tried to sell him it twice and... 
he went too early with the second yeah, one, Danny. He should definitely. have put. You he see how he reacted. He should have put that in the bank and then set it up later. Didn't have his balance, but he's landing that low kick well on the lead leg. He's got a marker with that tie tattoo. <laughs> Ties don't like prayers on the below the waist, do they? On the tattoos, I don't think they mind with Westerners, but he's stepping forward now and trying to close that ring off, but he's. Needs to be a bit more patient with the shot, I think. Or needs to get closer. That's a really well matched fight. Really well balanced. Two completely different styles. You've got we've seen this a few times today, haven't we, Danny? You've got that tall, rangy fighter yep. who tends to be on the back foot a little bit more. He's throwing kicks on the back foot, scoring well, and then you've got the shorter, stockier fighter who's trying to close the range, trying to land the heavy boxing and the kicks and I mean, this this young man here from um, from Dragons Gym, Thomas Mc, Thomas McEachin, I think you pronounce his name. Yeah, Thomas McEachin. He's um, he's quite flamboyant actually, the way he's uh, evading those counter kicks going under. But he's <laughs> he's at a few. It's not the comfortable back. to watch. I'm no, not it's not comfortable lie. to watch. No, 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 no. <laughs> he's making me sweat even more than I am in this commentary box, which is hot already. But he's getting away with it so far. It's working, you know. It's, just, it's working. He's not getting caught. So I'll tell you what, though, Reese um, Reese Hewitt in Fortitude on the corner there. Super, super fit, super conditioned. He's not even breathing. Yeah, like, it's true. He's, yeah. He, he's not even like, he just looks so relaxed. I said it before, there's not an ounce of fat on him at all. Look. I like the way he's mixing up his counters as well. He's not just always going for the kicks when he makes a miss. I'm wondering if he's got the power, Alex. Good exchanges of knees. They're not getting the point of their knee in there yet, though. Those fire slaps don't score with these judges, Alex. No. It's actually a really good clinch from Thomas McEachin, considering he's yeah. here with the taller fighter. Referee talking to him in there, Alex, while they're fighting. You know, keep working, he tells them. Keep working. Sometimes they wonder if they're going to get split when they're not. It's yep. good when the referee calls You've just like got that. to work until the yep. referee splits you, though, haven't you, That's Danny? That's it. Go to the referee's whistle. Oh, good high kick. He disguised that well, but the guard was nice and tight. Nice clinch work again. He's got a good angle. He needs to fire that knee off. I like, the way Tom, I like the way Thomas McEachin is clinching for, as a smaller fighter, the way he's driving up yep, behind the neck. Definitely. He's keeping him, he's not letting him lean on him, is no, he? No, he's not. Because if, if Reese was allowed to dig those elbows Very good in, knee in there then. Great technique, taking the inside of the arm, moving it wide, to, which makes you go back and yeah, then fires it, it, the it opens the, the gap for the yeah, knee, very good. Yeah, he's got Wayne Fisher in his corner there, he's a good clinch out, as I know because I got stopped by knees by him a long time ago. Did you fight Wayne yourself, Danny? Yeah, I was very old. Wayne was very fit, very strong, very nice, very handsome. And uh, picking on old men. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you fight Wayne? O2. One of Kieran's shows. One of Kieran's shows? Kieran Kettle, yep. What year was that? VHS. Nin no, no, no. 1972? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm not sure, Alex. So much has happened in I'm between. I'm just curious. I'm trying to give yeah. you an age away because I know you're older than me. 44. So. <laughs> 44. <laughs> well, out they come. And it's been a courageous fight from McCreechan so far. Been more stylistic from Hewitt. I'm wondering if Hewitt's got the power to hurt someone there. Really good movement to get out of that clinch there. Just out of range again, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's so long though, isn't he? Compa compared to. He's um, good. He's good on the back foot. His, his footwork's good. Yeah. The clinch work from McEachin is really good though. Yep, definitely. Switches kick, fires it, but there's not enough power to stop his opponent. He yeah. looks... I think uh, sometimes McCreechin's making him look good where he's erratic in his defence.
Doubles the knee. Oh, good. Right hand over the top, tries to respond. And the boxing ends there. Yeah, referee tells him to keep working that clinch. Yeah, really good refereeing by John Pop. Yeah. You'd expect nothing less. Typical Thai refereeing. Oh, that's a good knee. That's another good knee. That hurt. If I, was your, if I was your old nemesis, Danny, I'd be telling him to force the clinch, drive in and force the clinch. Yeah, he's very good with that right knee especially. And then again, there's that duck down. He's worked so far. It doesn't make us any more comfortable, no, old Danny. definitely not. Definitely not. Look how happy the Dragon's Corner is, look. Yeah. They're enjoying the fight. They're, being they're enjoying being let out, Alex. I think we all are. We're all enjoying being let out at these shows now. Definitely. We feel, we feel like we're on the route back to normality. Definitely. The promoters are starting to get confidence again now and starting to, starting to move the product, starting to take risks. It's a nice feeling driving up the motorways again in the morning. Start that with that lead kick. He tries to set the pace, but he's not moving McCreechan, is he? He's scoring. And sometimes McCreechan ducks low, and I wonder if the judges look at that and think there's effect there from that. Good inside low kick. I prefer the clinch in this fight to everything else, to be honest, Alex. Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, you can see the redman around the body of, of Rhys Hewitt. Tells you how good the clinch has actually been from Thomas McGeechan. Yeah, they're, they're more telling the knees. They're more effective than these from the smaller man for me. If you, if you notice... Hewitt's wrapping his elbow around the back of the neck instead of getting his elbows inside and then leaning yeah. on him. Yep, yeah. as that taller fighter, you've got to tuck yeah. them elbows in. Definitely. It's a good advantage. <laughs> now trying to box. He's doing, in, yeah. he's doing the right things, Thomas McEachum. He's closing the range, he's getting in, he's clinching when needed, but Rhys Hewitt's still fighting a very good fight on the I back know foot. these Thai judges, I know these Thai judges will like the going forwards. Definitely, they look. They will like the going forwards in this fight. Where those exchanges have been very even, I'm pretty sure the judges will go, maybe with that, or maybe the accuracy of Hewitt. Hewitt was very accurate, but was the power there, Alex? I don't know. Was the effectiveness in the shots? I'm definitely not scoring the fight. Definitely not. I'm not hanging myself out. I'm not going to hang you out either, Alex. You're dying to. No, You're I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I, gonna, I'll be honest, that's a difficult one. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave that to one. our I'm going to leave that to our judges who I trust 100% and we'll get the result right now. Over to the MC for the okay, decision. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a big round of applause for both of our fighters? After five rounds, we go to our judges' scorecard, where we have a unanimous decision in favour of your winner. I'm fighting out of the red corner, Thomas McGee. I did have a feeling, Alex, they go with the aggressor there.